we're, we're tearing her a new one, man. Oh my goodness. That was too damn easy. <laughs>back everybody to arc survival evolved on the fjord map i'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to start off by taming ourselves a fjord hawk fjord hawk fjord hawk fjord hawk i'm not i don't know if you're supposed to pronounce it fjord or a fjord i think it's fjord so a fjord hawk <laughs> um yeah so that's our plan and then depending upon how our time goes we might go after bela uh, later part in this episode. If not, then definitely, well, I shouldn't say definitely, but most likely in the next episode. We'll just see how our time goes. Um, I have about 25, 25 or 26 Therizinosaurs now fully tamed up, and I'm planning on using those for the Bela fight just to see how they do. I know that, uh, the, um, uh, the Anteater dudes, can't think of their name off the top of my head, are supposed to be the best for that. And if it becomes apparent that, uh, Therizinos are failing epically, you know, in that fight, then we probably will start taming up some of the anteater guys instead. But we'll see how they go. Um, the Therizinos are supposed to be some of the best dinos, though, for the dragon fight, so we're still going to continue breeding them even if they don't do very well against Bela. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind, too, and remember, is that um, the, uh, the Theras that we're going to start with, that we're going to attempt the fight with the first time, are not our best ones either they're just kind of the ones that i used up as terrible as that sounds <laughs> from breeding and instead of killing them i figured well let's just use them and see how well they do so if the you know the inferior ones do do well then we'll know that the ones that we're breeding for mutations are going to be really good um and i am um making progress definitely making progress uh with all of the critters in that regard. 
Um, anyway, so the uh, the Avis here are supposed to be the best critter to use uh, to tame the Fjorder Hawk. Uh, oh shit, that's not what I meant to do. Anyway, that happens. Um, and so we're going to take some of our spare Avis that we currently have here. And actually, did you guys poop out a baby? I think you did, but I wasn't around to to get it. So yeah, unfortunately, probably perished, but that's okay. I, I mean, you know, it sucks. It's not okay, but <laughs> anyway. Um, but I, I am keeping, you know, these two here. So we always have a, a, a mating pair. And, you know, I'm not really too concerned about getting like a super high level if you're the hawk, I just want one because they will help us recover our stuff if we die. And so, you know, in case we do die in the boss fight, if we have a pure hawk, we should be able to get it back. Um, they don't, to my knowledge, they don't attack or anything like that. So, you know, the only thing that really, I guess, makes sense to level on them is health. Because, I mean, what, what else would you level on them? I don't think weight matters. Because uh, I think they can pick up anything, regardless of how heavy it is, which is... A little bit unrealistic, but hey, you know this is Ark. <laughs> we don't want to. We don't want to go there. Okay, we just play this game to have fun. We don't try and apply realistic to this game. Um, so anyway, <laughs> um, so the the fjord, fjord hawks that I have run into a lot are kind of just right on the other side of the mountain here. Uh, it's where we did our first little session there when we leveled our rexes and took on that alpha rex in that area so that's where we're gonna head and then once we we get a couple on us we'll uh drop the office and hopefully i have enough uh, of these office to um to the, do the trick um the you know the the higher the level of the office or more specifically the more health that it has the more effective it is for taming the uh the hawks so we'll see how things go Okay, I see one across the way here. What level is it? Uh, it's... I can't tell. Okay, well. Then... Is that one down there? No, that's a Hesperonis. It's not staying on the screen long enough for me to tell what level it is. I mean, if it's... I, I don't want, like, a level one, you know, but... As long as it's a decent level, we'll, we'll take it. I just can't tell. Oh, you know what? Actually... I know it's flashing up on the screen, but it's just not staying on there long enough to... To help me out, you know? Um... Let's. Okay, so he's he's with us now. Uh, was he? Okay. Why don't we? Let's get off of the bat. Maybe that'll help. It's, uh, really hard to tell, man. Hold still, dude. It's, uh, I think it says a one, I think it says 145, but I can't tell for sure. Yes, it's a 145. Okay, that's really, actually really high level. Um, and it's the only one that, oh shit, that we have here. So, it's not ideal that he's eating that, but, here, I don't want you to eat that. Oh, he's mad at me now. Okay, so, which one of these office has has the highest health? You got, let's see, one, one of these guys has like 6,000, or... 55. Yeah, this one. Okay, let's start with this one. And then we'll start, then we'll do 
26. This one next. That one's got 22, 26, 41. God damn it. Fuck off. I don't want you eating him. Okay. We'll do that one. That's 26, and that one is 22. Okay. So let's get our dino killer out. And start with this one. And we'll uh, we'll track him. So it's already at 21% just on that one office, but that's our best one. So we might be able to do this with these office. We'll see. Let's get you ready. Oh yeah, he's already he's already over 50% just with the one office. Nice. You might we might not even have to slaughter those lower level ones. What's his, uh, he's at 88%. Yeah, I don't, I don't know enough about how to do this to, you know, how you don't lose effectiveness. But again, my goal here is, oh shit, I didn't even have to kill this one. It looks like <laughs> we did it. Okay. Oh. Yeah, okay. Most of the creatures oh. I've encountered here have endured thanks to their great size, strength, or ferocity. But the Fjord Hawk gets by on its wits. Fjord, so she says your Fjord Hawk. to have an almost preternatural ability to predict and avoid danger. Fjord Hawks follow predators and survivors from on high, watching for their moment to swoop in and snatch up an easy meal. Tamed Fjord Hawks are surprisingly playful, and their favorite game is fetch. Indulge your bird with this play and a bit of patience, and you'll reap the rewards. Just point out a target, and your Fjord Hawk will fly off to retrieve it for you. A well trained Fjord Hawk can locate injured prey and communicate its find to you. These clever birds will bond with humans as wholeheartedly as any canine or primate, in a way uniquely suited to this time and place. If you should meet with some grave misfortune, your Fjord Hawk will immediately fly off with as many of your belongings as it can carry. As soon as you're respawned by the Ark, your friend will track you down and return your equipment to you. And that, my friends, is why we have one of these. Um, that does seem to suggest that, um, that weight might matter with these things. Ah, it's too bad I killed that sheep. I I thought for sure we were going to need it, but oh well. We'll, we'll recover the mutton from it at least. Uh, the cool thing too is it shows you, you know, like health levels of, of critters and whatnot. So that's good too. Um, also, it's good to know that an Avis with 6,000 health, pretty much all you need is one to tame up an almost max level critter. So that's good to know for future reference as well. Okay, so let's get to as much of this mutton as we can. We have to harvest it ourselves because the the bat will just turn it all into rotten meat. Good lord, look at all the stuff we're getting. <laughs> Damn. Really? Okay, hold on. Oh, we still have another office alive over here. Wait a minute, are you the... Hold on. Were you the second highest health one? Oh, you were. Okay, good. So I actually killed one of the lower health ones. I didn't notice this one because it was in the shadows. <laughs> so that worked out pretty good then. So we didn't kill like our really good, 
are second to the best of us. We have to put some of this stuff on Dracula. Because I can't carry it all. That's an insane amount of meat. Uh-oh. What did I just... What did I drop? My canteen. I'm always losing my canteen. You, what the hell? This can't be right. How in the hell can I be harvesting that much stuff? That, that's got to be a bug. Is that a bug? You, you got to be kidding me. No way. No way. And why am I getting pelt instead of, oh, because, yeah, I guess you get pelt when you kill them. I'm, I cannot believe how many resources we got off of that sheep. I mean, look at this, you guys. This is insane. Holy crap, Ola. can't even fly with it. Good lord. All right, you know what? Uh, we don't... Well, we don't really need any of this stuff, to be honest with you. Um, I kind of hate to throw pelt away, though. Let's just... Let's throw... Jeez, I hate to throw any of it away, to be honest with you. I guess... All right, I'm going to have to have a come-to-Jesus meeting. We're going to have to throw some of this shit away, or we're going to have to have a very long trip back. Or we're going to have to put a chest down, store some of it, and come back for it later and make two trips. Wait, I'm being stupid. I'm not even thinking. Let's, do, let's take advantage of the wonderful. Very cheaty, but very, in this particular case, <laughs> um, appreciated teleportation. Now, maybe what we ought to do, I mean, I could try and tame a female so we can mate these, but I don't know. We'll see. The main advantage to doing that is if we ever lost lost it, then, you know, we would have our own supply. But, I mean, it wasn't that hard to tame one either, though, so. Another one didn't come with us, did it? Okay. All right, well, I'm going to very slowly fly back to the base with all these resources. <laughs> Good lord. And then, um, I think what we'll do, guys, is we'll get our army ready, and I will meet you at Bela's Cave, which is way up to the north, uh, like almost the north center of the map, and we will give her a try. So I'll see you then. All right, guys, we are ready to give this a try. Um, for those of you who don't know where Bela's Cave is, it's all the way to the north central part of Vanaland um, and there's the big dam so it's just a little bit to the west of the dam up on this ridge here I have not been in the cave myself I just know um, you know from looking it up on the wiki so I, I'm bringing 20 of my lowest level Therizinos with me um, because 20 is I think the max limit that you can have for the for the normal boss fights so I figured we'd start with that and, you know, see how things go. Okay, so this is the cave here. Um, the coordinates for anybody that wants to know are 4.947. Okay. So I don't know how dark it's going to be in here. I'm going to put my night vision. Whoa. Do, oh, maybe, wait a second, what? How come my night vision goggles don't work in here? That's weird. Or is it because I'm on the bat? Ah, it's because I'm on the bat. Jeez, okay, that's, um, that's a little too bright. Okay, let's, let's just gamma up instead. Okay. Oh, I guess there's some some nasties in here. Okay. Well, we should be able to just 
Bring the Theras in right from the entrance here. I think they'll fit. Just making sure that uh, those bears aren't following us out of here. Get out of here, compy. Oh, they are following. Okay. Everybody and their dogs got to show up. Everybody and their Argentavis has to show up. You too, huh? I mean, I guess we could just use the bat to clear everything. But. All right. I don't want any of this stuff, and I'm going to cry the bat up anyway. Okay, so let's um let's take the theory with the highest health. You got they're they're all, they're all over twenty thousand. Twenty one, twenty one. These were like our original breeders. Dang, they're all like the same exact health. 21, 21. Yeah, that one's actually lower. Those are lower. Yeah, because this is... Um, these were some of the very initial ones. Okay. So what we'll do then is... We'll throw you out and you'll be the lead, Sarah. Soldier 1. And I will ride on Soldier 1. The rest of them I don't really care in terms of their their name or anything like that. So let's get all of these guys out. Okay, so we've got all 20 of them launched here. Now you already have two more points. In fact... Uh, yeah, let's, um, the ones that have been in cryo probably have some more points. So let's go through and just give everybody more melee. Okay, so most of them we were able to give some more melee points to, which is going to be good. Um, all right, so let's have everybody follow. And... Y'all should be on high follow. I'm also going to put attack my target as the default setting. Alright. This is kind of a... Ah, shit. We're already getting stuck. Damn it. Oh, shit. Nope. That's not a good idea. Okay. Here. Everybody follow me. Let's just get back in here. Here we go. Okay. I don't know. Next time I do this, maybe I'll... I'll just come in and clear all the trash first and then launch them all in here. There's not a ton of room in here though. Uh, there's a rune too that we should get. But let's wait on that first. Okay. Uh, I want to make sure we have... Yeah, see we don't have everybody. Definitely next time I'll wait and launch them in here. I think we're ready to do this. Um, let's take our stuff. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a temperature thingy in this uh, cave, so I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, what do I do? Just double click on it? Yep. Okay. Let's do this. Oh. 
we're, we're tearing her a new one, man. Oh my goodness. That was too damn easy. <laughs> Jeez Louise. And that was with our lowest level, not even... Ah, I forgot to do the rune. Damn it. Well, we can do it next time. That's with our lowest level Therizinos. I mean, these aren't even like the cream of the crop, man. What do we get from her? Here, let's use you. Okay, well that was um incredibly easy. Now I know she's the easiest boss. Can you not um harvest her? I guess not. Okay. So I think Soldier One got the stuff. Because, um, that's the one I was on. Where did Soldier 1 go? I should have actually checked that before I jumped off, but oh well. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Ascendant Trike Saddle. Apprentice Pariser Saddle. Ascendant Equus Saddle. Pretty decent Mastercraft Assault Weapon, but uh, Blueprint, but we already got that. And 30 Element, that's the big thing there. And this, too, because we're going to need that for later boss fights. Very cool. Okay. Uh, in fact, yeah, I'll just take all of this. All right, well, we will definitely be farming uh, this boss for Element. That I mean, that was... I, I didn't wasn't expecting it to be super difficult, but that was, like, ridiculously easy. <laughs> I mean, for goodness sakes, man. Um, yeah, okay. Just think about how tough our theories are gonna be when we have when we have our real army, you know, with the uh, with the mut mutated ones. Oh man, that's crazy. These are such good dinos, though. So, all right, guys. Well, um, I'm not exactly sure where we are with time, but could I like if I would have brought more runes, could I just like? Do this again if I wanted to. The thing is, though, is <clears throat> I don't know if you would want. Oh yeah, you know we talk about farming these, but we gotta save runes for the other bosses too. So maybe this, maybe we can't farm it a whole lot. No, no, no. I'm sorry. We get runes from killing alphas. Okay, never mind. Yeah, we can. I, I was thinking for a second that we got the runes from these thingies, and I'm gonna actually wait and leave that there until we do this fight again. Okay, no, yeah, we can farm this because we can just kill alphas for runes. Rune stones, to be more precise. All right, very cool. All right, guys, well, I'm going to let you go here. And um, in the next episode, I don't know what we'll do. We'll figure something out and go from there. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Goodbye.